Well, good morning and welcome to the last day of Bloon. Um, I just woke up not too long ago. I've started my laundry. It is rainy and storming outside. So I figured I would just do the laundry day Q&A. So let's start with the Facebook questions first because I actually have my laptop right here and then I'll get to the Instagram questions in just a moment. So let's see what y'all have questions about. I haven't even, I don't think I've even looked at these yet. <laughs> Um, April says, do you have plans for any other home improvements in the near future, like painting cabinets, kitchens, and bathrooms? Yes, I do. Um, I really want to get my kitchen cabinets painted sometime this summer slash early fall. I just haven't found time to do that just yet, but yes, that is my next project now that my lighting is completely updated besides my bathrooms. I'm actually going to, um, now that you ask about bathrooms, I am going to be waiting to paint and do anything in the bathrooms until I figure out what I want to do. Um, I want to replace the flooring upstairs because that didn't get replaced when the whole downstairs got replaced before I moved in. Um, and it's just like like a laminate sheet is what it is. Um, so I want to change that and I have enough floor, I believe I have enough flooring from the main level to accommodate that. And then um, the vanities are going to stay there and I want to get new countertops. Like I want to like basically remodel the whole darn thing. That's going to be a while though, because that's going to be like money, money, money. So no, that's it for the projects at the moment. Uh, Brianne asks, have you found that owning your own home costs more than renting? Do you feel like you are reaching your financial goals faster by being a homeowner? Um, I feel like with the mortgage that I have, sorry, <clears throat> I gotta clear my throat here. Um, I'll put up in a card here my mortgage details. Um, with the mortgage payment that I pay, I feel like owning for me is cheaper, but I also put 50% down on my home. So I guess it just depends. Um, I have done home improvements, which have some have been very, very inexpensive and some have been very expensive. Um, I had to replace my furnace this year, which was like 3000 something dollars, you know, and when I bought this home, all of the appliances were original to the home and the home was built in 2002, but occupied in 2003. So. All of the appliances at some point are gonna probably start going and that's probably gonna start happening in the next five years or you know now to like five six years something like that so I'm fully expecting me to have to replace all of the appliances within that time frame so sometimes it's more expensive and sometimes it's less expensive just kind of depends on the month and what's going on um, and then do I feel like I'm reaching my financial goals faster by being a homeowner um yes and no like net worth wise yes because i'm paying into a property that is you know going to appreciate in value which is great but then i have a lot of home projects that i want to get done too so i'm kind of squirreling away money for that as well so um yes and no i guess it just depends and linda asks uh something very similar what's your next home project going to be painting the cabinets that's what it's going to be uh, melody asks why did you close your etsy shop i've had a lot of questions about this and um, it has nothing to do with not being passionate about washi, like I love me some washi, but to be honest, I was not making time for the shop. And it just seemed like I wasn't promoting it and I wasn't doing anything with it and it was just, it was just time for me to say goodbye. Um, I don't know, I just feel like if my, like my heart wasn't in it anymore, like kind of like YouTube, like if my heart wasn't in it anymore and I didn't want to upload, like I just wouldn't, you know? But with the Etsy shop, I just, felt bad that I couldn't get back to customers right away. I couldn't increase my turnaround times. Like, it, you know, I have a full-time job that's quite stressful at some times. And um, I don't know, I just, I just thought that, you know, it was time to say goodbye because I wasn't making time for it anymore. And I just really, unfortunately, wasn't passionate about it anymore. So that's why I closed it. All right, so Brenda asks, what has been the mistake slash lesson that you have learned being on YouTube or any social media platform. I mean, there's a few. So I would say with YouTube is it's okay like not to feed into the comment section. There are gonna be people out there that will like watch your video, like hate watch your videos. Um, I know it's more of a prevalent thing on like bigger YouTubers channels and stuff like that. But um, to me, I mean, I find it sad, but I also end up finding it funny that someone would actually waste their time and watch like a 20 or 30 minute video and reference something in minute like 23 or something like that and say like unconstructive criticism. I'm all about criticism. Like 
you know, if it's constructive, like, please let me know. I'll be like, hey, that angle was really bad, or, um, you know, can you fix your lighting, or whatever. Like, I totally am down with that jam, but when people just say things that are not constructive, it's just kind of like, really? You took the time to watch the whole video, and then you commented on it. That, you know, for me, I always think about it's as more about them than it does about me. You know, I move on with my life. I don't take any of that seriously. I just... No. <laughs> um, and then about social media in general, probably that it's okay to say no to things. I used to say yes to a lot and in the last year I have either just deleted the emails that I get, not from like you guys, but from like brands or sponsorships or something like that, and um, I just say no. I only want to show you guys and I only want to share with you guys something that I would buy with my own money and um, you know I do a lot of stuff with Erin Condren they do send me a lot of product I'm very transparent about that when they do send me product but to be honest it's probably something that I would have bought with my you know own money or sometimes I have credits and stuff which um, there's a link below it's like a ten dollar off code if you've never signed up you get $10 off and then I get $10 off when your item ships. So I use my credits a lot as well. If I wouldn't bought it, if I wouldn't have purchased it with my own credits for a video or my own money for a video, I say no. Um, and then I also realize who my audience is. So like I did a video not that long ago for the kids planner. Um, I'll link it up if you're interested or there. I, I don't know where it goes. <laughs> um, so clearly I don't have a child. I don't have one. You guys know this. <laughs> um, but I thought it would be a great thing to share with you guys because I know a lot of you are moms or dads or have children or have nieces and nephews or are teachers or whatever. So um, those types of things I like to bring to you guys if I'm offered that from Erin Condren. Um, at some point I probably would have ordered it anyways just to share a video. So I kind of, that's like my I don't know, that's like kind of my guideline um, for me. But those are the things I've kind of learned about the internet. Yay. All right, let's keep going. Maria asks, what's on your bucket list? Any special places you'd like to go? Hmm. I mean, yes, but I don't have any plans right now. Um, I do actually have a plan to go traveling with my mom this summer. And I think we're gonna be going in August, which will be very exciting. And um, we're gonna go to Niagara Falls. And I will, um, I'm gonna vlog the trip, so I'll put up like one video or whatever when it's done. Um, but my mom's never been, and that's on her bucket list. So we're gonna road trip and we're gonna go there. It's gonna be awesome. So um, yeah, I don't know, I would love to go to a lot of places. I'd love to go to like Australia, I think would be awesome to go to. Also Europe would be amazing. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm open to anything, you guys. So um, I just really don't like roughing it. So <laughs> I'm, I'm indoorsy. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, I'm open to suggestions. Um, Shelly asks, have you ever thought about doing a weekly vlog compilation rather than your daily vlog when you do a monthly vlogging series? Curious if that would be easier with your busy lifestyle. Eh. It's the same. Um, I have to go through the same amount of footage regardless. So I kind of like to do the individual days because I understand that not everyone can watch like a 30 or 40 minute video, but most people have time to watch like a five to 10 minute video, you know, and then you can kind of pick and choose which ones you want to watch or you can just come back to it. So I kind of look at it as like, if I were the viewer, what would I want? And um, I don't know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be easier. It would be exactly the same that's it so um yeah i don't know i just like to do the the daily ones uh let's see sarah asks do you ever get lonely being single you know i was asked this yesterday by my friend jamie that came over you guys have seen that already even though i have not posted it yet but you will see that um kind yes and no like like yes in the fact that like my life is like very mundane but like i really like my life like i really enjoy being by myself um, even when I'm in a relationship I really like being alone you know I like my space I just really like my independence and not to say that you're dependent if you're in a relationship but um, I don't know that's just like how I feel so um, yeah so yes-ish and no-ish I don't know I mean it would be kind of cool to have somebody to like go grab dinner with or make dinner for or something like that but you know it doesn't matter <laughs> 
<laughs> but I also don't want to like waste my time. I don't want to waste their time. You know, I'm very like conscious of that and meh, meh you know. All right, and the last question on Facebook is from Zulima. I hope that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, what do you tell yourself when you are about to make a purchase or want to make a purchase on something that you want but not necessarily need? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I would say it depends on what it is. So let's talk about like planner supplies. Let's talk about that because you guys probably like planner supplies just like I do. I don't necessarily give myself anymore. Like I used to be super, super strict um, when I first started budgeting and doing all that stuff on, you know, how much I would spend like per month uh, or per week or, you know, however I was breaking it down at the time. Now I'm not so strict. So, um, you know, I just did a big sticker haul. Again, I'll link it. And I shared like washi and stickers and all that stuff, but I have not bought planner stickers or anything like that in such a long time that I kind of went a little hog wild. But I love all the stuff I purchased and I'm gonna use everything too. So I would say if it's functional in your life and you really like it, um, you know, that's, I would just, I would just get it. I don't know, that's probably bad financial advice, I'm sorry. Also, if you are on a really strict budget, what you can do is um, write it down. That's something that I did back when I lived in Fargo. I would keep a running list on my fridge of things I wanted to buy when I had the money or things I was thinking about buying that were maybe over you know, $50, $100, like whatever your cap is. And I would come back to that list a couple weeks or maybe a couple months later. And a lot of times I kind of forget about the things and don't necessarily see the value in them anymore. So maybe give yourself a break, like write it down and then come back to it at a later date and then see if you still want it. And that might be a good um, baseline for you. I don't know, something like that. Okay, now let's go to the Instagram questions. Those ones are always interesting because you never know who's going to be posting on there. Now we're at the Instagram questions. Um, and let's see. Mo from Count Your Blessings. Hi, Mo, if you're watching. Uh, what is your favorite food slash treat from the state, on the Minnesota State Fair? Um, cheese on a stick, for sure. Cheese on a stick. It's so good and also so bad for you at the same time, but I don't care. Cheese on a stick is my favorite thing. Um, okay, so then next we have Kelsey. And she says, what's your favorite season in Minnesota? So definitely fall. Fall is my favorite. It's beautiful here with all the trees and the leaves and all of that. It's gorgeous. Um, and then also the weather is like so nice. It's like very crispy feeling. And I would much rather be cool than warm. I mean, not cold, like winter. No, winter sucks. But um, the fall is like, it's like crispy weather. It's really nice. All right, and then the next question, I'm pretty new to your channel, so maybe I get to know you. Ooh, well, I can do like a little synopsis for you. Hi, I'm Emily, I live in Minnesota. I'm 38 years old, I'm single, never married. I have a little dog named Doyle, and um, I work with, oh, that's the dog. Um, I work a full-time job uh, and I commute about an hour each way. My parents are currently in Minnesota. They have a residence in Florida, which is their permanent residence, but they do come here for the summer because Florida winters are pretty, pretty uh, gnarly. <laughs> and then um, I do have a brother and he is currently overseas with the military and he'll be coming back sometime this summer. So I'm excited to see him again. And um, once he comes back, uh, he will be moving back to Iowa um, because he has a job there. Um, he also has a son, so I have a nephew named Jackson. And um, yeah, that's that's kind of it. I don't know. That's me. Hope you enjoyed the synopsis. If you have questions, post them below. <laughs> Next was, are you enjoying your job? Yes, I enjoy my job. And it says, has it helped you build your emergency fund back up from when you were employed? Um, I actually didn't touch my emergency fund when I was unemployed. I was very, very budget conscious while I was unemployed. Um, I did a lot of other things as well um, to create an income. So I didn't actually touch my emergency fund the whole time I was unemployed. So that's kind of exciting. <laughs> Next question. Have you and your brother always been close? Um, like when we were kids, we kind of like 
fought each other a lot um, but mostly it was like me fighting him <laughs> um, like he's still like he's like some big like army sergeant guy I mean I don't know what his like rank is or whatever so sorry Phil if you're watching but um, like he's still afraid of me which like kind of gives me a little bit of joy in my heart <laughs> so anyways but as we've been adults we've been um, pretty close um, sometimes it's just like a lot harder because he doesn't live in the same state as me so um, you know when we get together it's pretty fun and you know all that good stuff so yeah I guess I mean in our adult lives things have changed which is good um let's see here next question is from purple Suzanne and it says what is the most fun that you've done with life's organized chaos which is Jody and then also a man with the plans which is Ryan together and one-on-one -on -one time um I would say the most fun that we've had so far has been go wild it was so awesome so much fun um and then like one-on-one -on -one, I mean I guess just hanging out and chatting and getting to know each other and stuff I feel like as adults it's a lot more difficult to make like adult friends I'm just so glad that these two have came into my life and I hope they feel the same way about me but um, sorry my nose like really itches but yeah they're awesome people I will link their channels down below if you guys want to check them out because you should if you like my content you're gonna like their content I promise so um, yeah they also do YouTube so we talk about YouTube but to be honest um, you know we talk more about life and stuff all the good stuff <laughs> so and they're both in Minnesota which makes it a little bit easier to get together uh, someone asked another question about closing my washi shop um, and then also kitchen cabinets so I already answered those so we'll move along um, someone asked are you dating no and uh, do you have any traveling plans in the near future yes to uh, Niagara Falls uh, someone asked what's my favorite restaurant unfortunately my favorite restaurant closed what last year the year before something like that um, it was called the dragon house it was in um, Columbia Heights Minnesota and I loved it um, I don't really have a favorite restaurant right now but yeah I don't know I mean I like all different kinds of food for the most part oh Amy Ray hi Amy Ray um, she says do you like to read what's your favorite genre of books to read um, to be honest I don't really read a lot but I do use audible I've had a few actually comments saying to do a review on Audible. Here's my review. I like it. So, um, the genre of books I've been like listening to lately are, I don't know. I like, I like a little bit of everything. I listened to recently, um, Becoming by Michelle Obama. I listened to, uh, Pete Buttigieg, his book. I listened to this book called um, How Not to Give a Fuck. That was a good book. It wasn't very long, but it was a good book. Um, let's see here. What else have I listened to? Let's see, I listened to a Busy Phillips's book. I don't know. I don't have a genre that I listen to at all, but I'm. I like uh, listening to either like like self-help self-improvement oh I listen to boundaries I highly recommend that to anybody that's like a Dave Ramsey recommendation book of how to establish boundaries like within your family or your friends or your coworkers or like life whatever um, so I like that book a lot that was awesome um, I don't have a genre but I like to listen to either people reading their own books from their own life perspective so like nonfiction um, and then also I really like you know like self-improvement books which I find interesting all right oh Amy has another question if you could pick your favorite foods for your meals for one day what would they be a breakfast lunch dinner snack oh that is such a difficult thing okay breakfast in my perfect world um, my breakfast would be toast with peanut butter and flax seeds. If you guys have been on my Instagram for any amount of time, you have probably seen that. That's always delicious. Um, a cup of hot tea, and that would be my breakfast. And then for lunch, I would have like a delicious Cobb salad with no avocado, because I don't like that. Um, and then for dinner, I would probably have, oh, I would probably have that bacon pasta yum stuff. It's uh, pasta carbonara. Um, I did a video with Ryan from Man With The Plans. If I can, I'll link it up above for you guys. Um, and then snacks, I don't know, I like, I like crunchy and salty things. I don't know, I really like pickles um, and chips and things like that, or like, uh, like cheese and crackers or something like that. So that would probably be my go-to. So Kimberly Plans asks, 
Tips for remembering to bring your reusable bags into the store and then use them. The other day I left the store with two plastic bags and the reusable ones still in my pocket. Yes, I have a tip for you. So what I do is I'm actually um, using right now the Erin Condren Planner Tote that just came out, the canvas gray, as my like regular bag. So I always have like two to three of those nylon reusable bags from Erin Condren in that bag. So I just have them with me. However, if you have a smaller bag, what I do is actually loop a bag over my passenger seat and I have like reusable bags in that bag if that makes sense so i try to remember to grab a couple of those if i'm doing like a bigger shopping trip at like aldi or like my local grocery store or target or whatever so that's what i do and that's what works for me um but yeah that's that's what i do and then uh looks like the last question is i'm admiring your financial journey well thank you and the way that you were able to buy a house such a large town payment when do you think you will have your mortgage or you paid off your mortgage and what's the next big savings goal after that since i'm assuming you will skip baby step five yes i will skip baby step five which is um saving for kids college like doyle's not going to college so <laughs> i think i'm gonna be all right so currently i'm putting 15 percent um of my income into retirement and i am able to do that all with a roth which is awesome i'm doing it all through work um i was able to pick pick the pick the <laughs> i was able to pick my funds um so they're all in like the mutual fund that Dave Ramsey um, recommends and so my contribution of 15% is all Roth and then I do receive a small match and then that's all non Roth but that's fine so anyways it just makes it easier what I was planning on doing at first was actually just doing the minimum I could at work to get the match and then like have a you know write a check or send money somewhere else but I felt like the it was too difficult for me, like mentally, which is crazy. Um, like that friction it was so like one more step. I couldn't, I couldn't like mentally get there. And I know some of you know what I'm talking about. So if it was just taken out of my check and I didn't see the money, it was money I didn't play with. So I've been doing that for um, quite a while since before the beginning of the new year. So um, I think was it November or December that I did the 15? I don't know. It was one of those times. So anyway, um, yeah, and then I am not sure when I'm going to have my house paid off. But I did take out a 30-year mortgage, which you guys have seen in the video that I linked earlier, which is all my mortgage details. So I'm not sure. Um, I haven't started paying, like, big chunks on it or anything like that because there's other things I want to do inside the home. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, that is going to be it for the laundry day Q&A. Um, my laundry is almost ready to go into the dryer. So that's pretty good timing here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the Vloon series and I hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A. If you have any other additional questions, make sure to post them down below. Feel free to thumbs up, subscribe, do all those things those YouTubers tell you to do. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh.